In today's video, I'm at Wat Chocolate in Phnom Penh, editing footage and share with you behind the scene of my visit to their chocolate factory in Sam Reap. This visit gave me an insight into the beans to bar chocolate making process. What did I learn from the visit? This chocolate bar and shake that I'm currently enjoying underwent a nine step process from farm to packaging. We start from harvesting the cacao pot. What chocolate is made from cacao pot sourced from the finest field in Monokiri and Ratanakiri in Cambodia. Each pot is handpicked from quality and sustainability at one of the farm they source in Monokiri, that is Kangka Farm. The first cacao farm in Cambodia established in 2014. If you want to know more about Cambodia's cacao by Kangka Farm, see the link in the description below. Cacao beans undergo a crucial fermentation process after harvesting, which maintain at an optimal temperature. This process enhances the beans' taste, aroma, and color, contributing to the development of rich and nuanced flavor. The third step in chocolate production is where cacao beans are sun-dried to develop new flavors and reduce moisture content. This step is crucial to prevent mold and prepare the beans for roasting. Proper drying preserves the flavor created during fermentation, contributing to the final taste of the chocolate. The roasting is a fourth stage in chocolate production. It's crucial as it reduces bitterness and enhances the cacao's natural flavors and aromas. Following roasting in the beans to bar chocolate process, the beans are cracked into smaller pieces to separate the nibs from their shells. The cracked beans are then winnowed, a process involving shaking or blowing with air to remove the husk, leaving behind pure cacao nibs, the essence of chocolate flavor. The grinding is a six-step process, transforming cacao nibs into a smooth base called chocolate liqueur. Not an alcoholic beverage, but a pure essence of chocolate. The grinding releases the cacao butter, turning the nibs into liquid that serves as a foundation for all chocolate products. The seventh step in chocolate making process, crunching, involves precise temperature management to ensure consistency and quality. This lengthy process of stirring and aerating the chocolate reduces residue bitterness, smooths the texture and develops the final flavor profile. Next is tempering, a process of controlled heating and cooling. It's a crucial step in chocolate making that ensures a glossy finish, firm snap, and smooth melt. It helps the chocolate crystallize into more stable form, preventing a gritty texture or dull appearance. The final step before concluding this video involves molding the chocolate into the desired shape. This process involves pouring the tempered chocolate into molds and cooling it under controlled condition. Proper cooling solidifies the chocolate, ensuring it retains its gloss, snap and shape. Once it's cool, the chocolates are gently released from the mold and are ready to wrap. Fancy for some chocolate? Remember, if you want to include a unique treat in your travel itinerary, visit Watt Chocolate, which promises a sweet, delicious, and memorable experience during your visit to Siam Reap. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my FMB channel. Happy eating and drinking. Stay tuned for the next. Bye!